Today we're going to be testing the fuel pump and the fuel pump relay. We'll do a fused jumper test, an amperage test, and a fuel pump relay test. First we'll start off with the tools you need. A bolt meter, jumper wires, safety glasses, and a wire diagram. The two types of jumper wires we'll be using is a male and a female. The female goes on the terminals on the relay and the male has a probe end to go inside the fuse box terminals. This is so, if in case you don't have a, a T-pin to use, you can use this, but in, if you need T-pins, you'd rather prefer T-pins, you go to a hardware store. T-pin or probing end is safer to use to prevent spreading the terminals inside the fuse box, causing an intermittent open problem for the relay. This is the fuse box under the hood where the fuel pump relay will be. We're going to pull that out. Today we're going to be talking about uh, relays. We use supply power and ground to terminals 85 and 86, which uh, forms a magnet and closes a switch. We connect terminals 30 and 87, which allows the computer to control the current to the fuel pump. Now we're going to test the relay off of the vehicle. First, you're going to set your ohmmeter to ohms and hook up your terminal leads to terminals 30 and 87. Once you do this, you should read overload or infinite. Next, we're going to hook up our jumper cables to uh, terminals 85 and 87 and supply power and ground to them both. One jumper to positive into negative. Now you hook up your ohm meter to terminals 30 and 87 and you should read less than 1 ohm. We do the fuse jumper test. We need a pair of jumper wires. Uh, we are doing this test with the key on engine off. Uh, we are going to jump terminal 30 to 87. Uh, if the fuel pump turns on, we know that everything before the relay is working and we know that the problem has to be with the relay or what's controlling the relay. Next we're doing our amp test. We're going to take our multimeter and we're going to put it in the amperage set. We're going to take this port and we're going to put it in the amp port, that way we don't damage the fuse. We're going to take our probe leads, we're going to put them in 30 and 87 and we're going to test what the amperage is for the fuel pump. As you can see, it is 5.04, which is good because the specification is under 10 amps. By performing these tests, we verify that the fuel pump and fuel pump circuit is operating.